everyone my name is mudami and uh, today i will be talking about childhood obesity now why childhood obesity because childhood obesity is one of the most uh, serious concern of 21st century and uh, according to one who report uh, it has been seen that uh, uh, all the overweight and obese children in uh, uh, globally uh, the numbers are very high and uh, in 2015 it was around 42 million and uh, very soon it may be uh, 70 uh, million uh, maybe by uh, 2025 and half of this uh, uh, overweight children are actually from asia so this is very uh, serious and scary isn't it so for that before uh, discussing further we should know what is obesity obesity is excess body fat accumulation and uh, we have to measure it isn't it we have to measure obesity and how are we going to do that we use a formula which is called bmi what is bmi bmi is your uh, ratio uh, it is a ratio of your height and your weight so uh, w- uh, what we do is we just calculate your uh, height weight ratio with uh, weight in kg by height in meter square and uh, if it is within 18.5 to uh, 22.9 that means less than 23 that means you are normal if it is more than 23 or equal uh, more than equals to 23 and within 25 that means you are overweight and if it is more than 25 that means you are obese uh this is for asian for our other nationalities the numbers are little bit uh, different for children what we do is we follow a, a growth chart it it looks like this so after calculating the bmi we put it in the uh, in the uh, plots and now if the child bmi is in between 85th uh, percentile that means the child is normal if it is more than that and uh, it is uh, under 95th percentile that means your child is overweight if it is more than 95th percentile that means your child is obese so obesity we can calculate by this now the th- uh, next thing comes uh, in our mind ke what if if my uh, child is overweight or obese so what are the problems that uh, is going to happen because we all la- uh, love you know baby fat so what is the problem with uh, childhood obesity actually it is a very scary thing why so i'll just show you uh, you know uh, childhood obesity or obesity never comes alone it always brings certain other medical complication with it so if your child is overweight or obese your child may have these sort of problems like uh, physio uh, psycho social problem like poor self esteem depression maybe neurological problem uh, risk of uh, high risk of stroke uh, cardiovascular problem like hypertension risk of uh, heart diseases endocrine problem like type 2 diabetes gastrointestinal problem like gall stones uh, cirrhosis of liver sometimes neuromuscular problem like uh, uh, frequent uh, you know fracture forearm fracture and even renal problem like proteinuria so this is actually very serious so what we have to do is uh if we don't correct this thing and we don't uh, detect the uh, problem then we will be facing we will see our child like this see a very sad lethargic child and you know always very introvert sitting idle and playing with the all the gadgets they are not very social isn't it this is a very common uh, picture of uh, recent this thing so we have to solve this issue and how are we going to do that so what i feel before solving anything we should know the uh, causes what actually causes childhood obesity and a major cause of, of that what i feel and uh, what is actual the thing is uh childhood obesity is very much related to your genes so it is a genetic problem and uh, uh, if a overweight or obese mother deliver a child uh, generally it happens a child is uh, be, uh, you know a low birth weight child 
and low birth weight child becomes obese in uh, near future so it becomes a vicious cycle so this is one problem and the second part is uh, your lifestyle because of erotic diet erotic lifestyle sometimes it happens that uh, the child are these the children are uh, eating more of high calorie food they don't like homemade food they always love uh, some ready to eat foods they become very um, you know sedentary they don't go out and it happens basically because of the lifestyle nowadays uh, parents are very busy in their lives they uh, do socialization and at that time their children you know call a uh, pizza uh, uh, parlor and they uh, get food in half an hour time so what all they are eating is junk food oily food foods with uh, high sugar content uh, so these are the problems and uh, just to solve this thing what we have to do is we have to educate our child and for that we will be focusing mainly on two things one is calorie intake and the other one is calorie expenditure so every child should know this very well what i feel is we can educate our child with this simple uh, method okay whenever you are eating your plate should be like this it should have cereals proteins vegetables and fruits and similarly for exercise part they should also be aware of the food pyramids Uh, so exercise pyramid okay so they should know and they should actually enjoy their exercise we should not always uh, poke them ke okay, do this or do that don't go uh, don't uh, go for uh, the thing uh, don't go for high calorie food we always should say you do whatever you do and uh, just enjoy your exercises so first thing what i feel is when we will be talking about healthy food we will be giving them some healthy choices and uh, for that i will i would like to show you some pictures where you can see that uh, every child uh, likes actually uh, uh, having ice cream chocolates burger pizza so it's not that that they can't have it they can have this kind of food see isn't it attractive this is and then for uh, breakfast we can give them this kind of breakfast these are colorful uh, and uh, our uh, you know uh, kids will be really get attracted towards this so it is not that that healthy food are always uh, boring no it is not that and similarly uh there are certain things that uh, the senior people the uh, the parents should uh, do for uh, improving their children uh, lifestyle uh, and one of that is you know whenever you are going for shopping grocery shopping you should bring your child with uh, you and uh, uh, sometimes you can involve them in cooking preparing he healthy food uh when you are presenting those foods you can involve them there so this will develop a good healthy uh, eating habit uh, within uh, your child and then for the exercise thing i would say be a role model when you do exercise regularly your child will also do the same and we should not force for uh, for something they can do whatever they want to do they should enjoy their exercise that is a simple uh, funda and uh, i think if our uh, all of us follow these things we will definitely solve this problem thank you